Hi guys, it's Aaliyah. Welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be a quick video, um, and it's actually two videos in one, um, otherwise they would be extremely short, but um, I want to share two things with you. So first, uh, you know how you go on to Etsy because you're looking for something specific, and then all of a sudden in your cart and in checkout there's something that you weren't even looking for. Well, that happened to me, and I actually didn't even um, open it yet. Um, so we are going to open it together, but what I did, oh, whoops, um, it's from, hold on, the Red Barn Vintage Store, and what they are, let me just, it's been actually some time because, um, I hadn't gotten a chance to get up in my craft room recently, so, um, I, I have had them for, I don't know, over a week now, but what they are let me see so cute are these ones are like like you know like the little hidden paper clips um and then let me see there was two things that i ordered so there were the hidden paper clips they're so cute oh my gosh i don't know if i'm in frame but let me just kind of line everything up um i was also actually no you know, I do take back what I said before because I was online or on Etsy um, looking for inspiration for covers of junk journals. Um, like, you know, how different people create different covers. And I just was, sometimes I like to go on Etsy because um, these are people that actually had made and finished uh, junk journals. So I can kind of see kind of like the different types of covers that are out there. So what I did was... Um, in the process of, I, oh, wait a minute, hold on. Okay, so this goes here. Yeah, these are all hidden paper clips. They're just different sizes. And then these here are um, little, like, I don't know, tucks. But in doing so, um, I came across this, uh, and I thought that'd be kind of cute to get these and sort of see how they were put together and maybe get some inspiration from them. And I don't even know if I'm in frame. Hold on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Um, so that's what I did. So I thought, you know, these are the little paper clips. I mean, how cute this is. And, you know, it kind of could give you ideas of how to do some hidden paper clips. I have done hidden paper clips in the past. Not that great at it, so I'm always looking for inspiration. But these, these are so cute. So that I'll definitely, I don't know. Well, definitely I'll use these in my journals, but get some inspiration from it. It's almost like a matchbook cover, but it's not. And then this here, these, look at this. So these are also little um, paper clips. But then inside you have like a little place to journal. Isn't that cute? Oops. And then this, it'll get tucked back in here, like so. And then you can clip it to a page or clip it to a pocket, whatever it might be. And then there's that one. So these, I definitely also want to um, kind of try to make too, because those are super cute as well. So that is just my little Etsy share um, that I wanted to show with you and actually also... Um, open because I have not opened them <laughs> as you can see um, but super cute so that will definitely give me some inspiration then um, my friend Lolly was tea dyeing some papers uh, actually this is a while ago and um, she said oh I'm gonna send you some and I told her you know what you're always so generous you don't need to you know that's quite all right well here we go <laughs> she is always something else she's always sharing everything so um, which actually came at the perfect time because I, I am in the middle of making a journal and I needed some more, um, dyed papers. So not only did she send me like, look at this, a variety of dyed papers. So it's not only, um, you know, one type. So these are like the children's writing papers. Um, here's, uh, it looks like, um, Oh, like almost like an attendance. Yeah, an attendance record. Uh, let's see, some more attendance records. So super cool. Line papers. And I, oh, listen. 
that's like my favorite sound in the world crinkly dyed papers love it so lots of papers um, of all crinkly oh and this is a different sort of oh you know what I bet it was like a, a full page like you know when you um, open up the attendance book and so these wherever it was this was like maybe one side oh no maybe it's the same I'm not sure but either way it's cool and then there's this this is super cool too year at a glance oh okay and then that's on this side yeah so it must have come from some sort of like um like a book for teachers or something yeah here we go student roster so that's super cool because I always love different types of papers to go into my journals and then of course love the coffee dyed papers so then also I have now a variety of different coffee dyed index cards which is awesome because I love coffee dyed index cards um, and I'm just not the greatest at coffee dyeing or tea dyeing things however she did inspire me once I got these I'm like you know what let me give it another try because I always have this weird luck um, when I'm doing my papers they either come out too dark and then they're really brittle or they're just really light and it's kind of like what was the purpose of that but look at this I did it and it came out actually not well some of them <laughs> not too bad but none of them it are um, brittle because that was my biggest thing and I don't know what caused it um, but well I, I had a clue of what might have caused it but this time I did some different things to it and these are everything that I did I can actually use so I'm so super happy so Lolly thank you for inspiring me to try it again but what I did this time too and I did tea because she does hers with tea as well um, because I don't drink coffee, so I don't have any coffee in my house. But when I used to do it, I used to just go out to the Dollar Tree and buy, like, you know, the instant coffee. And maybe that was the difference. I used coffee instead of tea. So this time, I used tea. But I also, when I put it in the oven, I put it, I think, on 200 degrees. Now, it did take quite a while for them to completely dry, but nothing was burnt. So I'm thinking that two things that I've changed when I did this was, one... I use tea instead of coffee like I normally do and then two usually I put it for um, a higher setting in the oven and maybe that's what was burning and making the paper brittle this time I did a very low setting um, until they dried and like I said I mean it took oh gosh I don't remember how long but I mean it was quite a while for each of the I did it in um two um two I don't know sections or two there's a word I'm looking for to blah, 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 blah. well you know I put one in on the top shelf and the bottom shelf on paper trays when those were finished I took those out and I did another um, I did another uh, set of them so I did two sets and they all came out just absolutely I'm like so incredibly excited because I've never had paper come out like this so yeah so thank you Lolly for inspiring me inspiring me and also because she used the tea and I use the tea, I think that also might be the secret f for me. Because there's a lot of people who use coffee and do a very great job with it. Me, not so much. But, yes. <laughs> so now I have some papers. I can go start working on my journal. Um, I can use a lot of fun things in my journal. And it's just, it's going to be great. So, stay tuned for great things to come. <laughs> and Lolly, again, thank you so much for sending me these goodies. I appreciate it. And thank you, everybody, um, as always, for watching. And I will catch you in my next video. Bye.